Hey, how you guys doing? Ivy Echo X. Yeah, and um, thought I'd jump on the Xbox One. I didn't have any time to do any kind of tutorials, but I did have some time to test some of my older designs, which we're going to be looking at uh, right now, and that is uh, my version 6 elevator. I've been slowly going through and testing things to see just exactly what needs to be changed, if any. Uh, so I changed the title on this just recently to say Xbox One. It does work on the 360 as well. It's just on the 360, I don't recommend making it above the tutorial height. But uh, this one can be made higher on the Xbox One. I don't know how, how much I'd recommend it. So that's what we're going to be looking at, how that works on this. And then we're going to be looking at the differences between my elevator and CMB Minecraft's and Cube Hamster's uh, Instacall Elevator. Uh, I just had recently had a guy say to me um, that I basically copied my elevator from the Redstone uh, Handbook, which if my elevator is in the Redstone Handbook, I, I, do, do not, I was not aware of it, I'll just tell you that, because <laughs> mine is an original design. Uh, but I will show you guys that, you know, we'll just look at it. Anyway, let's test this first. I'm going to go ahead and head up to the top floor. I'm going to go ahead and go in here. Get up on this thing. <clears throat> Hit the up button. And then angle myself a little bit. And yeah, I do this mainly, what you guys are seeing, to register, uh, to get my character to be registered properly. So yeah, just want to show you guys that when you're angled in there, you'll register better. Um, and then of course, we can stop at any floor. We can stop at both. This one may not have worked. I don't know if you've seen that, but I have noticed that in this update, it's a, a lot easier to get a, a monostable uh, button, which means a really quick pulse that doesn't actually get recognized. It's a lot easier to have that happen, and I don't know why. So we go down. Should stop at this floor. And we should stop at this next one unless that button, when I hit it, didn't register, which it did. That's cool. <clears throat> and then... You can, you can go up to any floor on the way up. There's a lot of things I sacrificed to make this elevator so small um, and to get the reliability. So we're going to go up to not to the very top floor, but the one right below it. And then I'm going to make sure that I'm pretty centered. This one has a much, uh, because there's less circuitry, um, it registers you a lot better. And one of the best things about this is that the floor spacings are only six compared to 10. So I was able to shave four blocks height off of this. Uh, one of the bad things, in order to get it so small, I got rid of the Instacall system, meaning you have to wait for it um, to come up. So if you guys do build this um, and you're used to it just coming right up, you'll see why I added that on. I mean, who wants to wait that long to go down, especially if you're on survival or something? But I will say that, um, yeah, Anything else can be uh, solved in this elevator um, pretty simply. So let's just look at the redstone so you guys can see it. Now, I'm going to put a link in the description. Um, it's one of, uh, it's, I think it's number four in popularity, this particular elevator. Um, so you guys could just go to my most popular downloads, but it's very dense circuitry, but there's a lot less of it. Um, yeah, and it's the smallest design that I have. I mean, if we go in here, you guys can see that it's pretty dense. There's a couple air spaces in here that you really can't do much with. But, yeah, just wanted to show you that. I do a much slimmer version of note blocks. This one's just so you can really hear it. But I wanted to show you it. So, yeah, that elevator's good to go. Um, all right, so uh, to answer a viewer, not even a subscriber, a viewer's you know, accusation that my elevator is just a copy out of the Redstone Handbook. Let's go ahead and just look at the differences between, you know, the ones that I know are in there. So the multiple floor elevator that's in the Redstone Handbook, it is actually Cube Hamster, Cube Hamster Innovation. It's going to be a link in the description. He just recently showed a video that shows his elevator working really good. I'm going to show you guys if you want it to work on the console every time. You just need to add some timings to it that he doesn't on the tutorial, and it works great. Uh, and then we're going to look at C and B Minecraft, which he's the original guy to do this. So if there's an up and down elevator in in it, that's the one right there. 
because my elevator is nothing like them. To be honest, these two, ele two elevators are more like each other than mine, and it's just for one main reason. These elevators use repeater lock to keep them up, and then it, we'll just look. So when I hit the up button, it sends a signal um, up this pink circuit, and then the repeater powers itself, causing it to stay locked on, the, on, a, on a powered position. And then once you remove these green blocks by hitting the down button, um, it will disconnect the circuitry, as you can see. And that's how it works. That's how uh, it, it uses, it's, it's a, it's a built-in kind of on and off power circuit. The problem with it is, is that um, redstone can change speeds, especially depending upon where you make it. Um, and then, of course, the timings in it are really weird. They don't give you a... Uh, you can't adjust it any more than this. I mean, I can add more time onto this uh, and delay it, delay it, but you just get stuck. It's it's just a, it's a it's a cool circuit, but you really are stuck with either two ticks or three on that, and that's about as slow as you could possibly make it. Um, and then Cube Hamsters is exactly the same. Um, you can see that it uses the locking system with the pistons. It just uses a lot more of them for a really good reason go ahead and look at that let's go ahead and look at using the uh, the redstone lock you'll see it locks the <coughs> the orange circuit now I actually have this so it sets uh, it has a lot of delay uh, so that you can get centered into it and then the reason for having two separate circuits is to get this which is incredible and that is to make it so that when it goes down it goes down in the exact same order it goes up You'll see here that when this one goes up, it looks level. You'll see it. It looks like they're even when it goes up. But on the way down, you'll see that the left side actually retracts quicker. And that's what Cube Hamster did with that. He used two of those circuits to make it so that it goes down at the same height. As you can see, that's probably the, the one thing I don't like about my elevator and I don't like about uh, CMBs. So this one is the first Instacall elevator. And I'm going to show you his his idea of Instacall, which is a really great one, is you just jump on it after hitting the button and it takes you down. You don't have to hit any more buttons. Um, and then, of course, once it's up, you have to do a different kind of technique. I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. The, uh, the floor guard drops down. And you get in here, you hit it, and you have to be ready for it once it does its thing. Uh, otherwise, you will get stuck in it go so really just going to tell you it only works for host um, unless you slow it down more so if you guys are interested in making this just follow his tutorial and just make sure that you have two ticks on these repeaters on the yellow circuit and that's all that you need nothing else that's it nothing more than that uh, and it will work fine you know on the on the console so let's look at how mine works my up circuit is this you know, red circuit, which is, is way bigger than the pink circuit. It's humongous. But it gives you the, uh, the, the, it gives you the ability to do this, like uh, a torch being turned onto the on or off position never changes. It, it, it's, it's really reliable to send a signal up with it. And then of course, because the circuit's so big, we can adjust, uh, micro adjust this if we wanted to. We could put it on you know, four ticks delay, and it will still lift you up in the same nice way that it does in the in the opposite. And yeah, you can see even the ride is different because by default my elevator is much slower than the repeater lock system. So let's just check that out. As you can see, I can face forward because it's it's much slower. It's incredibly slow. You know, it's not the it's not made for speed. It's made for reliability. You can even slow it down even further if you want to. My particular elevators. Um, this one was one I did to show that you know you I don't have to make a super slow elevator, but they're much more reliable. I've had people say this elevator don't work, but it works, and it's way quicker than Cube Hamsters, and also CMBs and mine. But one problem happens on the way up, and you're done. <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that to just say my elevator is an original concept 
was I influenced by, by Cube Hamster and CMB Minecraft? Of course I was. CMB Minecraft's elevator is what made me make mine. The reason why is it stopped functioning. In the 1.3, it, it didn't work quite as well as it did when he originally designed it. And then when we got into the 1.4 and then I seen the 1.5, it, it still it didn't work quite as well. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Anyway, um, comment, like, and subscribe. And of course, you know, have a good one. Later.